G'day all. As you can see I've got a stack load of uh, measuring devices. This is pretty much one of my go-to. It's made by King Chrome. Nice and um, get that shine off. Nice and big. Really easy to read. Uh, just a really handy tool but now and again just need something a little bit more accurate and my eyes struggle uh, with a micrometer an analog micrometer they're really easy to use I still like them but uh, anyway I'm going to show you what I bought okay this is what I bought the other day um, it's a digital mic from China of course because it's cheap and you can't buy something that cheap anywhere else unfortunately but anyway this was around $42 offered to me because I had it in a watch list on eBay which looks like sellers are starting to do now if you say so if you've got anything in your watch list you might get a um, email from eBay or from the seller saying that you know they're w willing to offer it to you for such and such. So I got this for about forty-two dollars um, with free postage, and it, it took about nine days to get here to Australia. Um, so I'll just show you this. I, that's a bit of steel cut off on the bandsaw, a uh, bit of aluminium slotted in the mill, brass knob made in the lathe knurled nice so really handy just be able to slip that in there and uh, Bob Jank uncle really handy one-handed operation you can put things in there you want to measure a bolt nut something small but anyway I'll show you this this is a 25 mil little measuring gauge most people you will be familiar with these if you they usually come with your analog micrometers but uh, I'll just show you this it's on zero now so bear with me while I wind this out to 25 mil click that button there you can read in millimeters or inches Okay, just nearly 24, 25, so slip that in. Went a bit too tight then, back it off. There we are, an inch. Just enough to be able to turn that quite easy. So I'll take that out. And we'll take it back to zero and see how we went. Two, one, and back to zero. So look, for me, that's the accuracy that I need. Anything more than that, uh, well, that would be on my skill levels. So there we have it. Comes in a little box, and uh, I'll just show you. Uh, while I got you, I'm just going to put this on pause and go and get something. Okay, that's back in focus. I'll be back in one sec, guys. Okay, back again. This is what I wanted to ask. This is the box that comes in. You've got your instruction manual. Which is uh, fairly good English, actually. Not too much English and more English. You've got... Uh, you know, that little ball bearing cap that you can put over the micrometer for it to read. I'm not sure why you'd use that, or I can, well, I can suppose I can understand why you'd use that on some things, but I can't see myself using it. You get a spare battery, but this is the thing I wanted to ask. Can anyone tell me what that's for? 
I have no idea what that's for. I can't work it out. It's meant to be there because it slots in this part of the box. So if anyone's got any idea what that thing is, I'd love to know. There's no mention of it in the instruction manual. But it's got its own little posse there to slip in. So if you know, let us all know what it is. Okay, that's my review on a $42 electric, electric electronic micrometer from China. I hope that helps anyone who's thinking about buying one. But, uh, a lot cheaper than a good quality one, I know. Might not last as long, I know. But uh, I don't know, for $42 in my workshop, in my shed, this is pretty good. Okay. As always, thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.